this is DMG and welcome to 70 system and in this video we're going to talk about the difference between natural puzzles and mechanical puzzles. Now, if you'd like to help me continue making these videos, please check me out on patreon.com forward slash 7D system. Now, what is the difference between a natural puzzle and a mechanical puzzle? Now, I call a natural puzzle an organic puzzle. It's certified organic. Um, basically, a mechanical puzzle is, okay, there's a whole bunch of scrambled letters on the, on the ground and you have to put the letters in the right place and that will then open the door. That is a mechanical puzzle. When the, when the players have to use their own minds rather than the skills of the character, then it is a mechanical puzzle. When it's an organic or a natural puzzle, that means the characters can use their own skills and abilities. The player determines which skills and abilities will be used in order to overcome the problem. So that thing is like a locked door. A locked door is an organic puzzle. How do we unlock the door? Well, we will apply character skills to it and objects and, you know, lock picks and, you know, strength or whatever to attempt to get through the locked door. That is a natural or organic puzzle. I personally uh, limit the amount of mechanical puzzles. There are people who love mechanical puzzles and there are people who hate mechanical puzzles. And there are people who are obviously indifferent. But... Mechanical puzzles, I firmly believe that you should try and limit them. If you're going to run a multi-campaign session, once every three sessions maybe you'll have a mechanical puzzle. It should be something very simple, um, you know, but again, the players are using their minds and they will start to get frustrated because they can't move ahead in the story because they're having a problem. It's not the character that's having a problem. When their character is having a problem, that's fun because they have to overcome it with their character skills and abilities. But when they have to think about it, they've now got to solve the Sudoku puzzle. You know, they didn't come here to do Sudoku. They came here to play a role-playing game. So limit the amount of mechanical puzzles you have. But of course, with natural and organic puzzles, just as many as you like, because that's what the game is all about. We spoke about it earlier. The, the cornerstone of one of the seven pillars of role-playing games is problem-solving. So plenty, plenty, plenty of natural puzzles and very, very few mechanical puzzles. If of all your players love mechanical puzzles, then go right ahead, but you might as well just have a Sudoku solving evening. So if you like this video, click the like button. You can check it out on Facebook and Twitter forward slash 70 system. And if you want to be notified of these videos being released, click the bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me now. We'll see you in the next one where we talk about the rest of the seven pillars of role playing games.